Hello everyone, today we are making a fantastic 3D stargazer lily piece. We are using what we learned last week and pushing even further to get some awesome results. Let me show you how it's done. The original piece is for sale on my website now. Now since I started this experiment with my super mysterious paste in the bag last week and I was very very happy with the outcome and so were many of you and thank you so much for your lovely compliments. I can't wait to try different color scheme and different shapes so that's what's going to happen today. Another 50 by 20 canvas uh, so it's going to be a matching pair. Well maybe not matching but in the same style. I'm imagining this one really dark with actually some vibrant colors. So these are the paints for today. Rose, Royal Purple, Mars Black, and there was one more, what was it? Paints Gray. And I might add a bit of white and intermix them. I will only use the rose in its pure color, but with the others, I'm going to do some mixes. And here are my color combinations. As you can see, I've got quite a few different purples from the lightest value to really deep violet. This is the rose that I was talking about and you can see the consistency. All of them are the same. So one part of paint to one part of my pouring medium. I always use 50% PVA glue and water and one part of Floetrol. And as you can see they're quite runny because the buildup disappears almost immediately. So I sprayed some water into them and it's very important that they're all the same. And some of you really like my crazy containers, so there you are, another crazy one. I think this one is from Soya Sauce, my sushi pack. <laughs> As you can see, I could just recycle everything. Black is going to be messy. I will spread a thin layer. I don't want it to get dry on me. So let me plan those colors quickly. Let's just start with the mid-tone. That's my darkest color. See those deodorant lids are perfect. You can squeeze them. Bit of this pinky mix. Need something on the edges as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, that leaves me with pink and gold. That's the craziest pink I have. I don't really want those colors to blend too much. I think it'll still be quite a lot. Okay, I'm ready to use the hairdryer. Oh no, I've forgotten about gold. Forgotten about gold. And I do want to see some gold. looking nice. I like the color combination. Let's put these away. I'm ready with my crazy handmade friend which shouldn't be allowed really because it's too dangerous. It gets hot and it's too sharp so please don't do it. Uh, lower setting and there we go. I'm checking if I like it. I think I want more purple here. So let me adjust it. I do like that section. I do want some black here. All right, I think that's fine. So let me do this side. Oh, this part I'm super happy with. If you watch my last tutorial, and if you haven't, please do, this part won't be seen. So let's just leave it to dry. I was really hoping that I will see more black, and I do. So that made me very happy. Gold shines really nicely. And I've been looking at various flowers that would really stand out on this background. I was really drawn to stargazer lilies. If you don't know which ones, they are like really bright pink lilies. If you are not familiar with my tutorials, I do like sketching the flowers first and then I like transferring them on the canvas. 
why do I do it? Because then I can try various positions and see where I like them most. And sometimes I adapt them and change. This is a soft graphite pencil. Oh, it's already transferring here. This is a really quick sketch. I don't want much detail because I'm going to do the flower 3D. However, I do want to see the size and roughly uh, shape of the petals. Definitely somewhere here. So now I can see which way. I think there'll be a couple just peeping underneath and a couple of buds. So let's just make another one. I made up my mind. I want them like this, one on top of the other. You can go over with a pencil. I use my nails, but I know it can be annoying. So it transferred quickly. Can you see that? So as long as I can see all the edges, I'm fine, but I can go over with white. This is just for you so you can see where I'll be applying the paste. I can see the, the shiny lines. Since these are overlapping, I don't actually need those lines here. I can wipe them up so they don't confuse me. Time for my super fun medium. All putty or all purpose filler and some paint. I'm thinking what color. I'm going to actually use white because the stargazer lilies, they have white edges. And some white paint. To be honest, I haven't seen anybody using this type of mixture. But if you have, just please let me know. There are so many uh, pre-mixed texture pastes, you know, in art shops, all kinds of media that will help you do a similar work. However, I do love using what I can find around and not necessarily in an art shop. And it's easy accessible and on the budget as well. See how nicely it makes sense. Look at that. So quick. And I'm using a little bag. Of course, you can use a bigger one. I've got a pack of these and they're very handy. I can hold them easily and maneuver. Some of the lovely ladies during the premiere were laughing that I should probably start making cakes soon, but I don't think so. I would rather cook 10 times than bake. I'm not, baking is not my forte. I love cakes. Yes, I do, unfortunately. Putting a hole in the corner, a small hole. And I am starting with this one. I'm going to cover the mid part as well. And for this, I need a brush now. That gives me some nice texture as well. I can always add more and build up the layer. This one again, I want the thicker edges. Just making an impression that it's folded, this section. I think that's going to be nice. And of course, later on, I'm going to add those um stigma and the pollen okay we've got one already and now which one the big one let's do the big one exciting i will start with this petal because this petal is partially covered this big one is probably the chunkiest i have now i do want this part to be thicker This curvy bit. More lines here. And I'll just continue with the next one. But I won't bore you with that anymore.
I still haven't filled the bag, this is the same. And I'm just left with the bots. I wonder if I can just do the bots uh, spreading the lines like this. Because that's what the bots have, they just, they have those grooves, those lines. I think that's a, that's a good one. And one here. Okay, tomorrow we'll be painting. I could have waited for this to be completely dry. Well, I can touch it to add the mid sections, but I think I'm going to do it now. Uh, let me just think where I want it. So. Something like that. And those little ones. This, this one. And now they have those um, pollen sections. I do think they should be six. So let me just squeeze some more in between. That's it. I'm leaving them to dry. And we'll be painting tomorrow. I'm collecting all the pinks and purples I can find around. That's probably too bright. Brilliant purple, medium magenta. That's the nice one. That's the rose. It doesn't have to be perfectly identical to the lilies. I am going to use, however, the pinks and a bit of purple. And we'll see. I have to start with the base color. Which one do I want? Maybe I'll go with this one. I think I'm going for some kind of a pinky lilac color first and then the mid sections will be darker. Oh, forgive me, I'm mixing on anything I just come I come across. That will serve our purpose. Let's just a bit of this. And I want it lighter. Definitely lighter and probably more pink. If I don't like it, I can always go over again. Well, let's just try it. And a paper towel. Or shall we do lighter? Yes, I, I want them that light and the edges on those lilies actually are much lighter so I can even leave them white. So this will be my base color. So what I'll do now, I'll just cover every single one the same layer of light lilac lilac color see you in a couple of minutes one layer is done the really light one now i'm thinking some deeper shadows with some pink i'll just add a bit more white they do have the darkest part in the midsection which is quite unusual because that's usually where the petals they should be the, the lightest so we keep applying deeper pink in the middle and then I blend it in with the white. Couple more touches on the bud. And the last one, adding a little bit more color between the stigma and the stamen. I think that's the proper name for these. And a little bit of the same pink to the middle of each section. So this is going to be the deepest part. I know that some of them are sort of more burgundy or red, but I don't want to introduce another color. I also don't want to introduce green for the parts of the stems. I think green will not look, will not work well here. So I might go with gold. A couple of highlights on the outside part. As usual, I wonder who will be the first person to try it out. Also, if you like this piece, it's going to be on my website for sale and it's looking for forever home, even though it's not finished at the moment. The one thing about my designs, that every single one is original and unique. I don't repeat anything. I, I just can't. So you can be sure that nobody will ever have an identical piece. Super fun part. I am going to make dots. Still random dots. 
bigger, smaller. I think they need to be a bit more random, you know. Time for some gold. I'm doing all the mid parts in gold because of those streaks here. I think that will look nice. Again, I am not trying to make them super realistic. A couple of shadows, not everywhere, just some places. And then I do want some drips. The background is so dark, it's I think it's all right. Flowers are standing out anyway. Since I put some gold here, we definitely need just a little bit in some places. And then I want some drips. And that will be the end. And let me add some here. I'll touch all of them gently. Paint. I want some paint to drip from here. Not sure how much. Let's just add one here. All right, so now gold. I don't want to drip it here because this will obstruct it. So let's just do that. Oh, uh, just put it here, maybe a bit more. So drip faster. Come on, gold. <laughs> I am going to add some gold here as well. That's the section I planned. That's why some of the petals are, have more gold on them. How about that? Why is it going this way? Kind of not straight. Oh, that's so nice. I've really been enjoying this grungy look and I hope you have been too. Let me know what you thought in the comments and don't forget that the original is for sale on my website abcreativeofficial.com. I have a new video premiering every Saturday so consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!